Hi, this next video was taken at the Duff Pat Overlook near Duffville, Virginia. Okay, I'm here at an overlook on um, Duff Pat Road. It is U.S. Highway 58 going east toward Duffville, Virginia. And I'll, I will connect to U.S. Highway 23 in just a few more miles. I think it's like six, seven miles. I will connect to U.S. Highway 23. And then my last stop, or my stop for tonight, will be a 24-hour Sunoco station, which is also a truck stop. It's also a truck stop. And it's the only one on U.S. Highway 23, at least anywhere in this area. Now, used it used to be a long time ago when I came up here. Uh, I haven't been up to this area. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out when I was last here, which was probably... I want to say a year ago, but I don't think that was accurate. I might have been here a year ago, but if I was, I, I only, it was only for maybe one night. Maybe. I, I just, honestly, I don't remember. But I know I was here at least two years ago. This is absolutely gorgeous out here. And I walked around, there's a large walking area on the other side of the brick wall there behind me. Anyway, the last time I was here I think was a couple of years ago. Because I remember I was probably in my little Ford Focus. Before I, uh, before it was rear-ended by a tractor trailer. I might have been here a year ago, but anyway. Before the pandemic, I would go on, I would drive down to Norton, Virginia and stay at the Walmart, but, well, that's no longer, I don't do that anymore. I don't stay in any Walmarts anymore because they're not, they're no longer 24 hours. And I know in some cases, if I use the restroom before going to bed then I don't need um, I don't need to go until the morning so I would probably easily be able to wait until six in the morning seven in the morning but because they open up I think at six o'clock now but regardless I just I don't that's don't like it now there's been one or two that that were okay I thought about maybe staying you know there were a few tractor trailers in there, a few RVs, if there's some other people staying there, but there's always that if I gotta go to the bathroom, then I gotta, you know, I, if I wake up in the middle of the night, I gotta go try to find an all-night bathroom, and I don't want to be doing that. Now, when I stayed in Luray, Virginia, I stayed, there was a Liberty, a Liberty, um, I want to call it a Liberty truck. It wasn't really a, li this particular Liberty wasn't really a Liberty truck stop. Now, I did stay at one that was a truck stop. The one in Luray is not a truck stop. It is just a 24-hour gas station with a lot of parking. But it is right around the corner from, it. well, actually, I, I don't want to say it's right around the corner from Walmart. It's not. It basically, it, all, it practically connects to the Walmart parking lot. Not quite. You pull out of the parking lot, you just go down a short, short, tiny little drive, and boom, you're right there in the Walmart parking lot. There was no one else parked there, so I opted not to stay. If, if, if some RVs had been, well, I had to go to the bathroom, but... If some RVs had been there, maybe a couple tractor trailers, I would have probably stayed because it was not that big of a deal. Anyway, it's about 8 o'clock at night. And I'm headed down to Duffield. Make my last stop. At, well, not my last stop. I'm going to go to the Sunoco station. 
that fruit that I got last night was not, it was not good. It ended, I mo had to throw most of it away. So that was a, that was a bust. So tonight it's going to be probably a tuna sandwich and some Cheetos. Hopefully I, I get, I, I, you know, well, I'm going to be down to Duffield a lot. I'm, on, I'm only like a few miles away, seven or eight miles. So, you know, I'll, I'll go someplace else to uh, get my car ready and put my comforter down on my seat and make my bed. I, I always do that someplace else before I go to my last stop to, to whatever gas station or truck stop that I go to. This is ab absolutely gorgeous out here. Now, I don't want to go too far in here. There might be some poison ivy in here, and I don't know. Uh, I would not want to get into that. Not in traveling and not being in my car. And I have some property to look at tomorrow in Blackwater. Blackwater's not that not going to be that far from Duffield. Probably maybe, I don't know, 25 miles. I think it was, it was 21 miles from the marathon station where I mapped it. So probably about 30 miles. But there's nothing in Blackwater, so I, I had no choice. I had to drive up here to Duffield. And that happens. I don't, I'm not really sure why that my bosses like to invest in property that's... 30 miles from nowhere, but there's a lot of property out there that's 30 miles from from nowhere, and I just thought, anyway, I know I'm talking a lot, just thought I'd stop here, it's just, it's a beautiful night, it's a beautiful overlook, I have stopped here before and taken pictures, but never video, and there's actually a house right down here that you can, I can see very, very well. They have a beautiful backdrop. They have a beautiful backdrop in the background. However, I would rather be up higher than down lower like they are. That's down to one, one point of one, one X. I'm gonna go, oh wow. I'm already up to seven minutes, a little too long. This is such a gorgeous overlook. I just wanted to share it. Now, I won't be able to stay until the sun sets. I wish I could. But I can't. Okay. I'm headed back to my car. Here's the brick wall. And I'm on the other side of it. Better view than from the front side. The, the sun was right in my face. Or right in the lens of the of the camera, rather. Okay, this is from the highway viewpoint, Duff Pat Road. And right here at the, um, just before you get to the Overlook, going east on U.S. Highway 58 is Panoramic Lane. And that is a wonderful name. Now I'm going to walk down this road a little ways. Okay, I am down here on Panoramic Lane. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I walked down this way. And I may, I'm hoping not, but I may end up dividing the videos into two. I've, I've done that before. It started out just, you know, it was going to be kind of a little short video. But now I like, I don't know, kind of like a big dummy. I did seven or eight minutes up there at the Overlook. And me yapping. Anyway, I'm going to take, take a few more pictures here before it gets 
too dark. And then it comes up to another road, and I'm not sure what. It says Elephant Gun Road. Well, I'm not walking down that road. Wish I didn't have to go to the bathroom so much. I would uh, walk a little further. Looks like there's a... They must be doing some... Putting in some... Something. They must be putting in something here because sewer pipes or something because there is a bunch of pipes here oh and there's something up there posted to the to a pole can't see what it is though a beautiful vantage point wow Elephant Gun Road. I think whoever goes up and down this road needs a needs a four-wheel drive because that is one steep road. However, there are some tire track tr tire tracks out here, but that could just be someone turning around. It says this road's a dead end. There's another vantage point. I'm gonna walk over here. There's one more little section over here that I wanted to photograph. I always very much enjoy Virginia. And I wanted to get to West Virginia this year, but I, I'm i not sure I'm going to make it to West Virginia this year. I was hoping, though, but I've just got so much with physical therapy, doctor's appointments, work. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. It looks like that there's a walking trail down through here, but let me tell you something. It's pretty darn steep, and I can tell you. It is so overgrown that it is not anything I would walk down, I can tell you. As you can see, you can see all down there. It's getting a little dark now, so it's harder to... It's not as clear, but you can see it. Looks like a bunch of people have thrown a bunch of trash down on the... Uh, in here in the bushes and on the trail. This next video slideshow was taken at the Duff Pat Overlook in Virginia on the way to Duffield, Virginia, going down U.S. Highway 58.
hi this is the conclusion of this video I'm at my last stop I'm at a truck stop near Duffield Virginia anyway um, I still need to go inside the store I need I'm gonna get myself something to drink I need to make my sandwich I've already uh, made my uh, got my bed and all everything ready anyway but I still need to eat and I'm gonna watch a movie so I hope everyone has a good weekend I mean well, it's the middle of the week. I hope everyone has a good week. God bless. Peace.